What's good to YouTube? It's uh, Aquarius Leviathan Prophecy, and I'm back with another reaction video. Uh, this time I'm going to be reacting to... Uh, that I'll put, I'll put the video in the description box down below. I really forgot his name. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I'll, put, I'll probably put the video down in the description box down below. But obviously he's talking about um, Psycho Green. There you go. Uh, I just have, I just had the brain for it right now, but uh, I'm reacting to Psycho Green 17. Uh, he's basically uh, a funny YouTuber. <laughs> That trash is wrestling. Uh, so basically, Shamey said that, you know, today's product was better than, you know, obviously the product that was before his time. You know, the Attitude Era. You know, he didn't mention the, the, the Ruthless Aggression Era or the Golden Era or the Golden Age Era. He just said the you know, he just said that today's product is better than what, you know, we had when we was growing up watching wrestling. And to the, as to default, um, you know, I would say that the, 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 the level of competition is trash. Okay. The level of competition does not compare to what the attitude or what, to what the attitude era brought. You know, whether it's whether it was the Attitude Era or the Ruthless Aggression Era or the Golden Era, um, you know, meaning Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, you know what I'm saying? Um, when I mean the Golden Age Era, I mean, you know, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Andre the Giant, uh, Ultimate Warrior, you know what I'm saying? Sergeant Slaughter, you know, Ricky, Ricky the, the Drag... Dragon Steamboat, etc. When I talk about the Attitude Era, we already know what we're talking about. And when I talk about the Ruthless Aggression Era, we talk about Brock Lesnar in his prime, the Undertaker with the American Badass gimmick. Um, you know, so. But, you know, I mean, obviously, let's see what he has to say. He's funny as hell. I mean, like I said, Seamus, he he he, had, he has a little bit of truth to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said again, the 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 level of production in today's WWE or in today's climate is trash. It's garbage. Okay. The Attitude Era, the, the, the Ruthless Aggression Era, the Golden Age Era, it had more competition than it had in, in, in today's wrestling. But the product, the way it has evolved, the way it expanded, and, you know, when, you know, when the Attitude Era was, was, was around, the Attitude Era didn't necessarily expand worldwide. You know, I think it was just within the United States. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at today's wrestler from Saudi Arabia or, you know, Japan or India, you know what I'm saying? Like, they travel all over around the world to recruit new talent. I'm not saying that they did it. I'm not saying that they didn't do it in the Attitude Era, but you didn't necessarily see it. You know, I think it was just mainly focused on the stars, which was Chris Jericho, 
The Rock, Austin, Kane, The Undertaker, Mankind, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that they didn't push them over. Like, you never saw a jobber beat Stone Cold and Steve Austin. Or you never see the Hardy Boys or the Dudley Boys or Edge and Christian beat The Rock and Stone Cold. You know, like, it, it, like it was a very hard time. Uh, it, it, it. It was a hard time for 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 any of those guys to 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 put them over, you know. Um, but you know, Triple H wouldn't have no 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 wouldn't have no say in in beating The Rock, and you know what I'm saying. Like you had to deal with you know DX on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying. Uh, there were a lot of tag team divisions. You know, you that you had the Harley. I mean, you you had the um. You had the Hollies, you know, with Crash Holly, rest in peace. And you had Hardcore Holly. You had, uh, you know, Kane and The Undertaker. You had DX. You had, I mean, you just had plenty of talent. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but when, I mean, when the Attitude Era died out, it was still great. You know, the Ruthless Aggression Era was, you know, it didn't disappoint, so, but, I mean, like I said again, you know, Seamus has a little bit of truth to it, but what he says, what he says is false, obviously, because what, to, I mean, what did I say, uh, basically, is, you know, like, today's product is trash, you know, it is trash, you know, like, yesterday I was watching Friday Night Smackdown, like, it just doesn't have the same feeling to it anymore, you know? Like, people just... Like, I can see why people don't watch it no more because it's just pointless and it and it doesn't make sense unless you, you know, a hardcore wrestling fan. You, you're going to watch it no matter what. You know what I'm saying? But to the fans that grew up in the 90s, 80s, you know, early 2000s, you know, that's what they grew up on. And, and, you know, what they see, when they see today's product, it's like, wow. Like, this is the bullshit you want me to watch? Like, really? Come on, man. Man, what's the rock all saying, mankind? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know these damn people. You know what I'm saying? And you got freaking, you got fighters. I mean, you got superstars that don't even know how to fight. They don't even know how to cut a promo. But you want me to freaking sit there and watch them fight? Sure. And and another thing is title defenses, you know, like in the Attitude Era, title defenses, you know, changed on the dime. You know what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't be CM Punk of 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 your time. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't be Bailey who held it. What what was it? Two hundred and eighty one, two hundred and eighty one days or two hundred and eighty two days. How long CM Punk held his? Two hundred and sixty four. So, I mean, you couldn't really do that with the attitude. You couldn't really do that in the attitude era because it was just that competitive. And it was just that competitiveness. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like the 90s basketball where, you know, everybody was trying to dethrone Jordan, but they couldn't. You know, like they tried to stack up their team. You know what I'm saying? Well, not really stack up, but just, you know, add role players around their superstars. And they still couldn't get the job done. So the same thing with the Attitude Era, you know. The Rock, Austin, you know, they was just beating up on each other. So it was very hard for a, for a superstar to win, you know, a championship. Not even win it, but to hold it on for so long. Like The Undertaker, I mean Kane. He won it at, I think he won it at Bad Blood. And then obviously the next following night, he basically lost it the same night that he won it. So basically, that's within 24 hours that he lost the belt. You know, mankind struck lightning in the bottle once. 
what I'm saying? Became, you know, multiple tag team champion, hardcore champion, and he became, you know, the first ever WWE champion in his career. And then again, he lost it the next night against Triple H. So, now in today's wrestling landscape, you can hold the belt until freaking WrestleMania. Now we heading into Backlash. Now, if Bailey wanted to, Bailey can hold this belt. Her Bailey can actually hold her belt all the way up into WrestleMania. So that'll be another. Let me see. That'll be another May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I think that'll probably be another eight months or another ten months that she held another that she held the the, the champion and it goes by days, not even months, you know? So <laughs> yeah, I thought Seamus was cool, man, but after you said that, he's... Shit like this is why I don't come on here as often as I used to, you know. I fucking hate wrestling. I hate all forms of wrestling. I'm burnt out. I hate it all. I've lost my passion. You got fucking retards like Seamus coming in there saying, WWE PG is better than the Product is trash. Boring writers. You know? Like back at least back then they had some creativity. You know? Like they 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 tried new things. In today's climate, they're not gonna try this crap. They're not gonna try the same thing that they tried twenty years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not gonna try the same like the writers aren't the same writers. In the Attitude Era, or the Ruthless Aggression Era, or the Golden Age Era, you know what I'm saying? Like, they retool, they rehire new writers, and I guess whatever they're the, they, they write, the superstars have to go with that script, you know what I'm saying? Because, obviously, you know, it's a PG, well, I don't even think it's PG no more, I think it's just rated G, general, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, at this point, it's just... I mean, I don't even think it's PG no more because they be cussing. You know what I'm saying? They be saying shit and asshole and all types of names and the B word. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, like, I believe that wrestling is not going to stay here for long, you know, because obviously they're going to be running out of talent. You know, close John Cena is close to retirement. Retiring, uh, Kane is doing his government thing. Big Show, he's doing his TV thing. The Undertaker, he's not gonna retire until 2038, cause he just signed like a 15 year, yeah, 15 years, yeah. How do you sign a 15 year contract? I mean, I understand seven, cause that's the max that the NFL can obviously give you. You know, again. You know, the NBA is the same way. Seven years, or you could sign a, a, a 10 day contract, which is like a development contract kind of contract to see where you, where you, where your game is at. But, you know, NFL, the maximum they can give you is at least six. You know what I'm saying? Because of the new CBA. But 15 years, like, how do you sign a 15 year contract? So that means that John Cena, when he was, you know, 
21, he signed a 15-year contract. So now, how old is John Cena? In his 40s? So, boy. And, and and another thing is they don't try in today's climate they don't even try to develop a, a superstar like they don't even give time for that superstar to develop it's you know it's you know get him out there as fast as he can so he can sell tickets you know what I'm saying? that's just basically what it is you know what I'm saying like at least TNA at least TNA Developed, developed AJ Styles. At least the T. At least TNA developed Samoa Joe. You know what I'm saying? Because I've watched TNA around 2005, 2006, and it was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Abyss. You know what I'm saying? All those guys. I literally, you know, watched TNA. It wasn't bad. You know what I'm saying? Um. How much, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm just scratching my head, man. Like, Slammiversary. I mean, I mean, I never watched it, Slammer. I only watched Slammiversary like one time. And that was when Kurt Angle faced Samoa Joe for all the gold, I believe. Other than that, that was the last time I watched Slammiversary. But other than that, TNA wasn't that bad back in the day, you know. But at least TNA developed those guys. Wrestling now is not going to develop. Look how bad they've developed Braun Strowman. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when you damage good, when you when you damage good, you damage good for life. You know what I'm saying? Like your character is just dead to people now. Like, oh my god. Like, it's Roman Reigns. I mean, like, it's it's Braun Strowman. Like, don't even kid yourself. Wrestling, I mean, WWE is not going to have time to develop him. He's just going to be a waste pool, just like the others. Just like how they ruined CM Punk's career. I mean, at least he had an up-and-coming start in ECW. But when he went to the WWE, it's just like they just treated him like so much... So much crap that they threw on him, you know, like they made him do a love angle on AJ Lee, you know what I'm saying, like they he was feuding back and forth with John Cena, you know, he wanted to break the Undertaker's, you know, WrestleMania streak, which obviously I knew he was going to lose, um, what else, um, you know, like he was a leader of the Nexus, like it was just Stupidity after stupidity that they put him through. But I bet you if he was in another company, say EAW, you know what I'm saying? I think he would have probably, I think they would have used him in the right way. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, you know, WWE is a, T, it's a, it's a kid's show. So, I mean... man with a passion. Well, actually, he used to like Vince McMahon. Old Vince McMahon. You know what I'm saying? Attitude era of Vince McMahon. But, it, but when you get older with age, man, you just don't have it no more. You know, you're not the same Vince that you once was, you know? And if he dies, God willing, God not willing, the wrestling will be just like Super... I mean, I said Superman. Just like... How CM Punk said. 
is going to get taken over by his idiot daughter and his goofy son of and his goofy son-in-law and and his and the rest of his stupid family. <laughs> And then and then the wheel is just gonna keep on spinning. You know what I'm saying? And it's true. You know? Like nobody cares about Roman Reigns. The WWE can care less about Roman Reigns. They really can. Because they know that okay, if Roman Reigns decided to walk away. We have a lot of superstars. Oh, we could dev oh yeah, I forgot that WWE do not develop wrestlers. Because if they had developed wrestlers, they would have used Braun Strowman in the correct way. They would have brought him up or they would have probably tweaked his character in a different way instead of just being this monster that's that, that's not even him. You know? Like, that's not even him. That's not him. That's not what he portrays. But obviously, that he has to go with the script. So, you know, like... Like in handicap matches, like I saw yesterday. Yeah, Braun Strowman defeated Miz, but then again, he fell right into the old trap again. You know, when when John Morrison said that, well, you know, uh, Roman, I mean, uh, Braun Strowman doesn't necessarily have a good track record in handicap matches, and he don't, because I think last month or the last of the year after or the month after that. He lost the Intercontinental Championship to Zami Singh, uh, uh, since I um, Shinsuke Nakamura, and, and and Cesaro, which obviously he lost to Sami Zayn because Sami Zayn was the one who pinned him. So obviously he won, but obviously he had to relinquish, he had to relinquish the 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 title because of of injury. But obviously, Roman Reigns, I mean, not Roman Reigns, uh, Braun Strowman do not do good in handicap matches, whether it's two on three, I mean, two on one, three on one. He does not do good in handicap matches. Go look at his matches in handicap matches. He's like one, he's like, he's like five and zero right now in handicap matches. So if John Morrison and the Miz were to win, they would have been, they would have been, I guess they would have been the first co tag team t- tag team to ever held the WWE champion. But I guess the the whoever pins Braun Strowman, I guess is the champion, I guess. Or if they both pin the I mean I don't know. But it's just stupid. You know, like he knows better. You know, but then again he has to follow the script. Now, I, I think this will be his second title defense, or or third title defense. Yeah, I think this will be his, 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 his second title defense, because he won it at WrestleMania. Actually, that was not a title defense. He won it, he won it uh, in Money in the Bank against uh, uh, Bray Wyatt. So, this will be his second title defense. Now, if he loses now. If Braun Strowman loses his his championship in his second title defense, y'all already know how this thing is gonna go out. He's gonna want. He's gonna demand his release in the WWE. Watch, watch. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna see what T. He's gonna see what AEW is doing, and then he's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna, he's gonna demand a trade from his contract. You know what I'm saying, or he's gonna be released, or he's gonna demand a release, because at least AEW knows how to use the big man. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking they know how to use big men, and I got. I mean, they're gonna use them to the best of his ability. You know, just say, just like how they use Brodus Clay. You know, they use Brodus. The WWE used Brodus Clay as a, as a puppet. You know what I'm saying? But now look at him. You know, you see how TNA used them. You know what I'm saying? You you see how AEW now used them. You know, he's not this big, overweight, dancing buffoon no more. Like he, like he turned the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to scratch that. Scratch your character. You know what I'm saying? We're going to give you a good gimmick that you know you can feel comfortable in. You know what I'm saying? The WWE is just mindless sheeps. 
that just wants to get paid and don't really care about producing nobody or developing nobody. But y'all can tell me what y'all think. Uh, shout out to um, Cycle Green 17. Uh, it's an honor to, you know, re react to your videos. And I wish I could do more of your videos if y'all, if you let me. Uh, so until next time, take care of yourself and each other. And if I can find the video, I'll put the link in the description box down below. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.